Okay, I was just doing some last minute work on the Cummins. This is my SEMA truck. Um, so, in this, this episode of Farming Sim, I'm going to go pick up my new, well, my SEMA setup. So this is a part of it. It's already done. Because I built it myself, basically. And did all the tuning and the wrap and everything. I even added speakers. And it <laughs> made it roll lots of coal. Look at that, look at that. Take it down the draw head, that shit. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Okay. Okay, so first. Ford F-150, I'm pretty sure this is a Ranger. Crew cab, long, uh, short bed, I'm pretty sure. Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. It's very nice. I'm pretty sure it's 2018. Wait, no, that's 2020. Never mind, I'm dumb. Uh, here's a Toyota uh, Hilux. It's quite nice. Then we have the Bugatti Chiron. Very nice. Then we have the uh, Chevy Duramax. Well, the Chevy Silverado 3500 HD Duramax. Oh, that's all it's taken. Okay. So... Oh yeah, and we have two big text trailers. One gooseneck, one bumble. So this is basically my new SEMA setup. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna unload the Lamborghini. So let's quickly hop into that. Hop into that. Okay. I didn't have to do any payments because I did online. Oh god, turn. Go. Go, go. This thing's probably one of the fastest besides the Bugatti. The Bugatti's actually crazy fast. Oh god, off roading in Lambo. I can pay for a new one. But making my way downtown. I forgot the rest of the lyrics. Downtown. Town down. <laughs> okay, so the ranch is basically just down here. Oh god. Okay, well, there's one way to get to it. Um, <laughs> here's the hay shed. I'm just gonna hop out of this for a sec. Okay, hay shed. This will probably just be used for tall vehicles. Quonset. Basically just a workshop. A uh, massive uh, shop. Storage. With the lift inside. And then outside storage. My house. My garage. Inside of my garage. Inside of my house. That's it. <laughs> I plan on adding more soon, but for this moment, this is all we got. Ooh. Oh yeah, the theme is mainly black and then orange accents. So that's what we did with this car. Okay. I guess I'll see you guys once we get everything back. Yeah, see them. All right, you guys, we have everything uh, unloaded, everything where it needs to be. So, I'm looking at a monster truck. I'll show you it right now, or something I'm going to make into a monster truck. So, it is, but, yeah. So, okay, this, I know, is in our town. So I'm thinking about getting this. I'll show you the exact spec I would want. So, what is this? No. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll set up. I would do these, because I don't want stocks, but I don't want something too crazy. All right, you guys, got into the truck. We're just gonna drive it back. They have it all custom made and everything. Um, yeah, we're just gonna drive this back. I'm already buying stuff. Dang. Oh yeah, update on the farming series. So, we started, okay, so, the I got two grain carts. They, so we started harvest, and then one of the, with so we had 
combine, header, all that kind of stuff. That was all working. Um, and then midway through harvest, the JM axle kind of snapped. So I had to buy an 8970 to drag it back. And also just as a green car tractor. So there's an update. Yes, I recorded all of this. No, I can't post it because the recording corrupted. And I tried to just Alt F4, but I, j I saved right before it. <laughs> okay, so th I guess the only thing logical to do is just do a rundown on all the vehicles. Okay, so in the garage, I have the Bugatti Chiron and the Lamborghini. Those are for racing. Uh, this is like the main cinema truck. This, this is like the main event. And over here is what we'll use for mudding. Uh, maybe get a bit beefier tires. For a second, it looked like the frame was bent. Okay, here's the hauler. It's a dually flatbed. This is what we're gonna use to haul everything. So, and then in here on the lift, because it's having transmission problems, is the 1978 Ford. Need to fix it up. It'll be done by next episode. Okay. Oh yes, and something I want to buy. I'll pick it up next episode. But if we filter it to 2014, dang, they have a lot of Ferrari for sale. What? My gosh. Is this Canon Renegade? Here, I'll pick it up in the next episode. But look at that. Here, I'll put a little bit of a tune on it. That's perfect. Yeah, well, I guess that's, yeah, it. Well, let's take the Cummins for a little joyride. I tried to get like every single truck ran. We have Dodge, Toyota, Chevy, Ford. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have like all the main events. Now I just need a Honda. <laughs> this thing rolls so much cool. It literally has music. Okay, that's how I get to here. Because of copyright. Oh, let's get her dirty. Oh yeah, this thing had stock. A newer steering wheel. When I first bought it. I'll show you what it looked like when I first bought it, because I'm pretty sure the dealer has one for sale. So, it was a 1993. Yeah, okay. It was right here. This thing. I know, it literally looks just regular. And then we transformed it into this cold, rolling, lifted beast. Okay, well, I can't get over how much coal it rolls. This thing is so bad for the environment. Okay. Well, I guess that's going to do it for this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. I saw the light in a sunrise sitting back in a 40 on the muddy riverside getting baptized in holy water and shine with the dogs running. Sunday then.